So, you want to get your NXT line joystick flashed and or calibrated? Alright. Let's start from the VKB controller website, vkbcontrollers.com, as we've got some files to download. Select the downloads navigation button at the top of the site and grab yourself the following items. The device firmware package. The good old VKB dev config software. And the Z boot loader. We recommend that you create a dedicated folder and then zip all of these archives in there. Maybe take them over to a nice little VKB folder on your desktop. Once cleaned up, you should have yourself a folder with the dev config, bootloader, and a subfolder with all of the firmware files. If you want to flash your device, run the Z bootloader. You may find yourself having more success with it if you run it as an administrator. A list of detected VKB devices can be found in the bootloader's UI. Double click the device you want to reflash, and then hit the start boot button. With your device now in bootloading mode, target the new firmware by clicking the little menu button. Locate and then dive into the firmware package, and then the Gladiator NXT series folder. Here, the labels are pretty self-explanatory, but let's go through it quickly anyways. If you're flashing an EVO joystick, select Gladiator EVO. If you're flashing an EVO with the Omni Throttle Angle Adapter, select Gladiator EVO OTA. If you're flashing an original NXT, select Gladiator NXT. If you're flashing an original NXT with the Omni Throttle, select Gladiator NXT OTA. Today, we've got an NXT EVO, so, you know, we're picking the EVO firmware. With the firmware file targeted, it's time to flash it. Hit that flash it button. Once the device is flashed, bootloader will see itself out. Next, let's jump into the dev config software. Like with Z bootloader, you'll probably have an easier time if you run this with admin berms. With dev config loaded, select the device in the device list, navigate to the tools tab, and then click the giant red default button. Your VKB device will restart, and then a pop-up will ask if you'd like to configure the controller. Click yes, and the device will restart once again. Finally, it's time for calibration. Navigate to the test section at the bottom of the window, and then the access panel above. In the tools tab, click start calibration. Start slowly moving the joystick along all the axes. Pitch, roll, twist, mini throttle. Running the range of each axis a couple of times. Don't push hard against any edge during these movements. With the test axis panel open, you can see the readout of these movements. By default, the A1 mini stick is in the digital POV mode. Push the mini stick in to switch it to axis mode, indicated by the red LED, and get that calibrated too. Clicking the end calibration button ends the calibration process. Now, your Gladiator NXT or NXT EVO joystick is ready for takeoff.